Hello, my Earth Angel friends. Reverend Nina Rowe, founder of AngelsTeach.com. I would love to share with you one of my favorite healing techniques, EFT, or Emotional Freedom Techniques, also known as tapping. EFT is based on the belief that we store all kinds of stuff, if you will, limiting belief systems, um, trauma from past events, illness, all kinds of things in our energetic bodies. And according to traditional Chinese medicine, we all have 12 meridians that run through our body, basically energetic highways that run through the body. And as these limiting beliefs are created, as events happen to us, we store the vibration from those events, those beliefs, in our meridian system. And so as we tap on each of these meridians and access the vibration that may be causing a particular challenge for you, and we replace that vibration with the vibration of love and forgiveness and acceptance, we move into a higher vibration that is healing and embracing of the highest potential of who you are. So how we do a tapping session is we decide upon what we need to tap on first. So for many clients, it does need to be specific. Um, we, we, we look at a root cause. Um, we start sometimes generally and a lot of times we hone in on what's really the experience that uh, created that root cause. So really the number of possibilities is, is limitless because of course as humans we all have our own unique experiences. But for the sake of argument today let's just start with a belief around abundance. Say for example um, you don't feel that you're, uh, you're worthy of success. I find that so many people think that they're scared of failure when in fact the real fear, yes the failure, fear of failure may be there, but an even deeper fear is a fear of success. Because as you attain success you raise the bar and you set an expectation to uh, be a better person, to, um, to align more with your truth. And once that bar is raised, it's tough to go back. So there's a lot of fear that can happen around the fear of success. So let's use that as our example today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with what we call the setup. And the setup is all about setting the intention for the round of tapping that we're going to do. So the setup happens by tapping on the outside, the karate chop part of your hand. And I will say, my disclaimer is that tapping can feel very odd and it does look a little strange and all I can say is try it because the effects are just absolutely astounding. I have seen amazing things happen with this healing technique. So try it. All right, so I'm going to walk you through this. Tapping on the outside of the hand. Even though I am so scared of succeeding and attain, attaining my highest path of truth, I love, forgive, and accept myself unconditionally. So we say that statement because we say the intention of what the causing vibration is, that I'm scared of my success, and then we say, even though that happens, I love, forgive, and accept myself unconditionally. So we're replacing that vibration with love, forgiveness, and acceptance. So we do that three times. So again, even though I am really scared of stepping into my truth and being successful at who I am meant to be here on this earth, I love, I forgive, and I accept myself unconditionally. And one more time, even though I am so scared to be who I am meant to be, who God and the angels intend for me to be, because then I know that I'll have to expect so much from myself and others will expect so much of me and that scares me. I love and I forgive and I accept myself unconditionally. And then we start with the actual tapping on the body. We start on the inside of the eyes. Scared to be successful. And we use whatever reminder phrase comes into your consciousness right away. Scared to be successful. Under the eyes, don't know what to expect. 
under the nose, scared of my own truth. On the chin, I don't know what that looks like. I have a pit in my stomach on the collarbone here. We're just following the energy. Under one arm, about four inches under the armpit, I must be anxious about who I'm meant to be. And under the other side, I don't know what that's supposed to be. So I don't feel like I'm done yet. I'm just following the energy and noticing because the pit in my stomach wasn't there when I started. It came up as we were going through it, so I follow the energy to my stomach. And I'm going to go back up because I don't feel like I'm done yet. I'm going to go back up to the inside of my eyes and I'm going to go back to I'm scared of success. Scared to be my true self. Scared because I don't know exactly what that looks like. But maybe I don't really need to know. Maybe I'm just doing it perfectly right now. Scared to be successful. Scared I might fail. But I'm okay with trying. And then when we finish, because I feel there's a sense of completion with the energy right there, we go up to the top of the head and say, because I love and I forgive and I accept myself unconditionally. And then we just take a few deep breaths in and allow the energy to settle in. Noticing any shifts, any memories, any thoughts that come up as you allow that energy to process. And the reason that I say this is EFT with the angels because it's so much about following your angel communication. As I said, as we were doing the tapping, that it's, it is about following the energy and the angels, you can think of them as, as holding your hand and saying, come on, over here. No, no, now over here. No, over here. So it went from fear of success to fear of change to anxiety around that change is manifested in, in stomach stuff. Um, and then and onward from there. So think about it as your angels are by your side, they are holding your hand and they are showing you where the energy is going so that you can follow it and get to the root cause and dig it up and know that uh, you are getting all of the, the vibration that you need to replace with love, forgiveness, and acceptance. I'm just tuning in to see if there's anything else my angels wish me for you to share with you today. And I'm hearing that there's one last thing, so bear with me for a moment as I get this message. They are mentioning there is a longer version of EFT, and I've, I've been guided not to go through that. So what I would share with you is um, a couple of things. One is to just don't ever think that you can do this wrong. As long as you're, you're stating an intention, as long as you're looking at the truth of what's going on with your problem, or the truth as best you can see it, and your intention is to replace that with love, forgiveness, and acceptance, to replace that false vibration, that fear, that limiting belief, whatever it is for you, that your intention is what it's all about. So do this tapping. There's a longer version. If you feel like this isn't working, there are other, other techniques that you can explore, but what I would say first is to experiment with this version and experiment by really following your gut and really, you know, even if, if something comes, I've seen very bizarre things happen in EFT sessions, and even if some memory or some incident that happened on the playground when you were three years old just suddenly comes into your consciousness and you don't know how it relates to what you think, what you think is the problem, Go ahead and follow the energy there and tap on it because if it comes into your consciousness, it is relevant, always. I can assure you of that because that's, that's where the angel communication piece comes in. So, yes. And I'm hearing that we're all clear and good to go. 
Again, my name is Reverend Nina Rowe of AngelsTeach.com. It's been my pleasure to work here with you today on EFT. May you have many, many, many blessings of love, joy, and abundance to you. Be well.